it's hard to fake the photo to secure the camera? Not at all. Follow along with me in this tutorial to get this technique. Here, you can download all the stock of this video in the link on the description. I have an image of grocery store and background layer of TV monitor shape. Let's unlock the background layer. Put it on top and reduce the opacity to 50% so we can see the below the image. Convert layer 1 into small objects so it can be edited non-destructively. Go to Filter, Lens Correction, Move to Custom tab, set Remove Distortion to minus 50, Scale 80%, The amount of Vignette, minus 100 and Midpoint, 24. Press Ctrl or Command T to resize this layer to fit the shape. It will not, it will not completely fit, so just leave it as close as possible. Increase the opacity of top layer back to 100. Head to Window, Channels. We'll take the selection of RGB channel by hold Ctrl and click to it. Then put it to the mask of layer 1. Delete top layer for now. There you go, the image is already fit to the shape. Next, we are going to make it just like camera security. Create a new layer, put it below layer 1, fill it with black by pressing Alt or Option Delete. Before that, make sure the foreground color is black. In layer 1, open Gaussian Blur to blur it at 1 pixel. Click to FX icon and choose Blending option. Check to Inner Glow and OK. Add Crane to it. Head to Filter, Filter Gallery, select Crane Filter in Texture Folder. Intensity 40, Contrast 40, Crane Type Clumped. Remove all colors of it by click to the adjustment icon and select black and white. Clipping mat it to layer 1 with shortcut Ctrl Alt G for window or command option G for the map. Create a new layer. Fill it with 50% gray. We add some lines to it with filter. Go to filter, filter gallery, open scratch folder and choose half tone pattern. In pattern type, make sure to choose line. Change normal to overlay in plain mode. And there you go. It nearly looks like the security camera photo. Move to channels tab. If you don't see this channels tab over here, to open it, go to window, choose channel. In this tab, hold control and click to RGB to take its selection. Press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I to reverse the selection. And delete. Back to layer tab. Adjust the opacity of layer 3 to 80%. Next, we add some information to it like time, location, etc. Head to View, New Guide Layout. Uncheck margin box if it check it. Pick up text tool and select your font. Make sure it's not a fancy font, just use a basic one. These guidelines help us to align the text. Duplicate it with Ctrl J. Move the copy layer to other corner and change the text. Do exact same things for the rest of information, time and day.
Once you're done, select all four text layer and press Ctrl E to merge it into one layer. Open hue saturation to change its color to white by increasing lightness to 100. You can also change the color in character tab. Next, we'll create a red dot circle next to red text. Zoom closer. Pick up Eclipse tool. Choose red color in fill. Hold shift and draw a circle next to the text. Then enter. Do the opacity to 80%. Let's blur this text a bit with Gaussian Blur. That's all for the tutorial. Hope that you like this video. If you do, hit like, subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot.